talk to you from this angle because I think it's kind of funky and like a kind of cool way to film this. So we're gonna film this segment like this. I've been home for about a week now. Getting back home was a little bit stressful. I had a bit of a luggage issue in my layover at JFK. And then sure enough, when I arrived in Toronto, only one of my suitcases did. So I had to go to Air Canada and like tell them and they were like, oh, just one of your bags just never left JFK. And I was like, so it's still in New York? And they were like, yep, yeah, just never left New York. And so I ended up getting my second suitcase like two days late because I had to um, pick it up in New York and then take it to my house. I did in fact get my suitcase. Only one thing in it was like slightly damaged, but that was okay. I mostly was just happy to have my stuff back because this camera and all of my equipment happened to be in that suitcase. So I was a little bit stressed about that one, but we got everything and everything seems to be working all right. So I think we're pretty good on that front. I have not vlogged on this camera in like two months because all of the vlogs I did in Korea, I did on my cell phone. I brought my camera to Korea and I didn't use it one time. I don't even think I took it out of the camera bag the entire two months that I was there. Anyways, I just woke up about an hour ago. I went and I made a coffee and had some breakfast and I watched a YouTube video just to kind of have a slower start to my morning and now we are going to get down to business. Like I said, I have been home for over a week now and in that time I have not unpacked either of my suitcases. So that is number one priority. Number one thing on the agenda today is unpack my suitcases. I also did three loads of laundry. The first like three days I was here, all I was doing was laundry. I was like putting stuff in the washer, moving it over to the dryer, bringing it upstairs. So I have three different laundry baskets full of fresh laundry I have to put away. That is priority number two. I haven't really decided whether or not I want to like actually get ready for this vlog or not. Right now I'm in an oversized hoodie and some black sweats. And I'm thinking this just might be the vibe. I'm probably gonna make my bed first because I don't really have a whole lot of floor space. And what floor space I do have is being taken up by two suitcases and three things of laundry. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is make my bed and I'll probably end up unpacking my suitcases on my bed. I know that my bedding doesn't match at all. Like nothing about my bedding matches. I wish I could be one of those like aesthetic girls who has like matching bedding and like everything is like an aesthetic in her room. Like everything like matches. I wish I could be one of those people. I realized very quickly I'm a little too messy for that to be me. Like I will never have the clean girl aesthetic life. Like I just know that's not in the cards for me. I've, I've come to that realization rather quickly. So, you know, I think, I think I would like to be that girl eventually in my life. Right now, I'm definitely not, or, I mean, but I think eventually I'd like to maybe be that. Anyways, let's pick a suitcase and start unpacking. If I don't do it now, it's not getting done. Suitcase number one. I'm thinking if I just pull everything out and like kind of sort it on my bed, then I can like put it away like that. Like, I don't understand what I'm, I don't even get what I'm trying to articulate to you. Um, I'm just gonna pull everything out and like kind of sort it and then I can put stuff away easier, I think. Yeah, I think that's the game plan. I need music or something. I cannot do this in silence. One down, one to go. For something that I put off for literally over a week, it took me less than 10 minutes to unpack everything in my suitcase. <laughs> so I've taken everything out of the suitcases. Now is the slightly less fun portion of putting everything away. Everything that was in my suitcases was clean. I did laundry in Korea right before I left and anything that was dirty, my Nana washed while I was at her house for the weekend. So enjoy this fun little time lapse of me doing that. So that took me quite a while, but I am done putting away all my clothes. I really think I need to go through them at some point and get rid of a whole bunch because I think there's some clothes in there that I don't really wear anymore and that I could probably donate. 
Um, I don't really need them anymore. Like there's, I was going through and I was kind of looking and I was like, there's a lot of stuff in here that I probably wouldn't wear anymore. So I think eventually I'll go through there and especially now that it's kind of spring leaning into summer, there's a lot of clothes I could probably donate. So I will do that eventually. Right now, last stuff that needs to go away are my toiletries. So I had a lot of stuff in here and then a couple things in here, put those away and we will pretty much be done. in Korea was a Korean textbook. Um, I actually found this in my apartment and I asked all the girls who lived there at the time, I was like, is this yours? Is this yours? Is this yours? And everybody was like, nope. And I was like, okay, well, it's mine now. <laughs> so I think one of the previous people who had lived in that apartment had gotten a Korean textbook and just not used it. For the most part, it is unused. There are a couple pages in which they've, you know, like highlighted some things or Maybe there's a couple where they like wrote some things in pencil, but for like the most part 99% of this book is completely unused and it's a level one, which is what I am I also bought a notebook while I was there at a Daiso for the purpose of Korean going forward This will be my Korean notebook everything I've done so far in this notebook is Korean work Anyway, I changed up the angle because I've noticed that when I film in this side of the room for some reason I get the worst echo in my video for some reason this side of my room is really echoey so I try not to film in that area, but I started hearing it while I was talking, so I switched the angle up. Anyways, while I was in Korea, I did do my best to practice my Korean as best I could. I did my best to have as many Korean conversations as I possibly could. I did all my ordering in Korean. I also tried to substitute words in daily speech with my roommates for Korean words. So like when we were talking about the convenience store, we never called it the convenience store. We only ever called it a pyeonijeom, which is the Korean word for convenience store. So we would only ever call it the Pyeonijeom. And that was like the little things that we did to kind of further our Korean. I was using Duolingo the whole time, but I would not recommend Duolingo as a language learner. I was really only using it as like a booster because it really only took me a minute or a minute and a half to do a lesson, sometimes even faster than that. I'm really, really hoping that by the time I go back to Korea in about a year from now, I'm not, not that I'm not conversationally fluent, but I really hope that I'm able to hold my own in a conversation. Like I can talk in Korean and get a response and being able to understand them. And seeing as right now as I have an abundance of free time, I'm really hoping that I can capitalize off that and really get a head start in my Korean knowledge. If anyone else has any language learning tips that they would like to throw at me in the comments, I would be more than happy to listen. I really, really, really want to learn this language and I know it's going to be tough, but I, I, my desire to learn the language is deep enough that I think I'm going to persevere and do my best. <laughs> kind of been going through a rough patch um, as I've come back from Korea. I honestly just think it's an adjustment right now because um, if you think about it like everything's different. The food's different. The water is different. I think my very acne prone skin just needs a hot minute to uh, adjust to all the changes that are happening right now but my skin is really bad right now like super bad in the lower parts of the cheeks and now I'm getting acne on my forehead again and it's not pretty, it's not, it's not pretty, it's not looking good. I'm doing my best to stay consistent with skincare for it, but other than that, I just kind of have to sit and wait and hope it gets better. Which kind of sucks, right? Because you want like an immediate solution. You want snap of a finger and have 10 out of 10 clear flawless skin. But that was never in the cards for me because I 
lost the genetic lottery on that front, so. Okay, so my dad and I are making dinner right now. We decided on mac and cheese and bacon in it, but while the bacon is cooking, I thought I would practice gungi. So, um, this is a game that I learned about in Korea actually. So it's a super popular children's game in Korea. It's most similar to like Jax, like in North America we have Jax, but it's not like, I didn't play Jax growing up. Even my dad, I asked my dad, he barely played Jax growing up. Like it wasn't, it's not that popular, but apparently it's pretty, pretty well known in Korea. And so I learned about this game in Korea and I decided that I wanted to become really good at it. I'm not really sure why I want to be so good at this game. There's not really a whole lot of logic to it. Um, I just saw it one day and I went, that's something I want to be good at. So I went and I bought Gongi Stones. And so now I've been practicing and I'm gonna keep practicing. And hopefully by the time I come back to Korea, I will be, oh, damn it. I will be good at Gongi, <laughs> that's the goal. everyone as you can see I just woke up um, it is Sunday morning it is 9 a.m. on Sunday morning and we are going to a baseball game today me my mom my sister and my Nana are gonna go see the Toronto Blue Jays so yeah we're taking the train to Toronto and we're gonna go see a Blue Jays game today so let's go get ready <laughs> ready to go outfit and makeup are done um, the outfit I'm wearing just some typical black jeans and a long black sleeve t-shirt because I'm gonna be putting a jersey on over top so I just wanted something plain on top and then I did my makeup I also brushed my teeth and put perfume on deodorant and everything like that so I am good to go mm -hmm. 